signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. Alex, also known as Ray. How you doing, mate? I'm doing well, thank Good. you. It's nice to hear Ray in an Australian. Are you Australian? Yeah, Australian, yes, sir. An Australian yeah. accent, yeah. Yeah, well, um, you certainly uh, hit us around the bit uh, in season one, didn't you? Your character was very in your face at certain stages. Um, very interesting, and I'll even go as a bloke that watches this show. I actually, Brave, Brave yeah, Brave, Brave, yeah, I know. I liked you by the end of it. Well, but good. That's nice to hear. Is that what people have said about? season one for your character? Yeah, they often say, you know, Ray is sort of uh, really rough around the edges and hard for people to like until episode seven when he chases yeah. Shoshana who mistakenly takes crack yeah. and we see sort of the sympathetic yeah. side of him <laughs> and suddenly uh, this new door opens in an understanding yeah. of Ray. She did kick you in the balls. She did kick me in the testicles, that's right, true. Gotcha. Yeah. But um, like some sort of genius of um, getting onto a woman, you somehow had her caress your groin well, after that she's yeah. felt immediately guilty and wanted to massage my affected areas and who am i to say no i, mean, I want to assuage her guilt yeah I, I was sitting there racking my brain of if i could have pulled a maneuver like that in my early 20s it was brilliant so good job on that thank you very much you know, thank um, you yeah you know, uh in terms of you did have to go down the road of um popping the cherry um on mm. shoshana mm. was that uh, an interesting maneuver for you as uh uh, as an actor, do you have to rise to the performance? <laughs> uh, well, you know, as an actor, you try, or at least I try to relate or draw from personal memories. I don't think I've ever de-virginized a woman uh -huh. in my life, um, so I couldn't draw from that particular memory. Uh, I just try to, you know, do it as much as I can. I, you know, the character knows that he's taking her virginity, yeah. so he's trying to go as slowly and cautiously. You're actually a pretty good bloke. Yeah, um, like, so where did you grow up? You didn't grow up in like Iowa cornfields and no. sent your headshot into HBO and they said, let's have you? No, nothing, like that. nothing like that. I grew up in the, the lush um, uh, cerebral suburbs of Boston, oh, right. Newton, Massachusetts. Oh, right. Good. And then you were always an actor? Or? No, no, no. Very recently an actor. Uh, I was a comedian and then I was a... Uh, postman. Postman. I, I was a carny for two years. <laughs> That's not a joke. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I'm a filmmaker and I make my own movies on the side. Oh, and yeah. uh, sometimes I act in my movies, sometimes I don't. And so uh, would have Judd Apatow had to have greenlit you and said, we need this guy in our movies? Is that how it would have went from a casting point of view for this? I have no idea. I didn't go through a casting. Uh, no, uh, me and uh, Jemima Kirk, who plays Jess on the show, yeah. acted in Tiny Furniture with Lena. Oh. So Lena just brought how us over. How did she find you in that then? Uh, we met at South by Southwest at a film festival. She's seen some movies that I acted in, and she just wrote a part for me in Tiny Furniture. And, and wonderful. And now season two also beckons for you. You know, I've seen a few episodes, and it looks good that your character gets more to chew off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, so. it's fun to play. So the more I get to play, the more happier I am. Where, in final words, where do you derive that sort of sick energy that is a little bit offbeat for this character? How do you get that spin? Mostly a lot of unresolved anger. All right, good man. You seem like a calm dude. <laughs> good man, right? right. Nice to meet you, Alex.